All right, guys. Uh, my name is Yoon. Uh, LSSR Kim over here. Uh, so I'm going to be talking to you guys just about general stuff. Uh, and these tips are basically I'm going to categorize it in three things. Number one, the types of divisions. So you're going to be put in many different types of divisions, whether you're male or female, and you're going to have uh, a very slim option on uh, what what type of division you're put in. And second thing is uh, one of the things that I really learned that I, I hope that's going to be uh, helpful for you when you are in boot camp. And uh, the last thing is diet and how I lost 10 pounds in boot camp. So first thing is the type of division, right? So if you're male or female, so there are, let's see, four different types of divisions. Uh, division one, I mean, div Division by itself is basically a group of like 100 people, right? Uh, 100 people make up right about 100 estimate. Probably more realistically 90 to 80 to 90. They make up one division. And um, division is basically a group and you're stuck with another pair of group. And you're with uh, six instructors total where you call them RDCs, three, three for each. Uh, and that's for all divisions, right? So there's four different types of division. One, it's all male. Uh, so you're there for eight weeks for all, with all males. And, um, you know, that's just there. Uh, the second thing uh, is what I was with is an uh, integrated division. So there's a brother div and a sister div. Uh, so there's basically like, I think it was like 70 females, 35, 35, and then like 80 males. Or I think it was 90 when we first began. 90 males, uh, 45, 45, and then split out. Half half females, half males make up one division. Half females, half males make up another division. So we call them brother div, sister div. Uh, and that's how you guys will kind of interact with each other. And there's also the 900 division, which uh, basically when... At, when you see like graduation videos, the people who play the music instruments, uh, people who are like twirling the guns and stuff like that, they are actually made up of recruits. Uh, and their tr their whole beginning to end, they basically train for that moment. And uh, see, I, that that's what I was looking for when I first came in. I wanted to be in the 900 division to play like an instrument and stuff like that, to learn new instruments, right? But uh so for me, my window of opportunity, when I first came in, I thought it was going to be, you know, when, when I'm sitting down with my RDCs, with my instructors, they're going to say, all right, who, who can play an instrument? Uh, because that's some of the videos that I watched and uh, that's some, how some people got picked. But actually, uh, for me, in my experience, when, my first day there, uh, someone came into the room of, you know, bunch of people and I was included and they say, who can pass the PFA right now if you took it? And people who raised their hands, stood up, left, never saw them again. And I was talking with uh, some of my uh, fellow sailors who graduated with me on the same day. And uh, that was that exact moment uh, when they got picked. So there's actually many different ways that you can get picked for the 900 divisions, but that was the way at that moment. So really be careful and be be watchful if you want to be in the 900 division and they play you know instruments and stuff like that they're basically the same thing as uh the normal divisions but they just do a little bit of extra work uh so i mean if you want to play an instrument you can go that way and uh the last thing is the push division uh what a push division is basically it's mostly always going to be all male division just because for females i, I don't think they have a push division because uh, they always put females in an integrated division that's eight weeks long uh, just because of the lack of females. Uh, and what a push division is, it's seven weeks of training, right, compared to eight weeks. So my roommate, he graduated with me on the same day. I came in June 2nd, but he came in June 9th. So I was there an extra week, but he, he came in much later, but we still graduated at the same time. So I'm kind of kind of jealous uh, how he got into a push division. It's, I, I don't know exactly how they decided that. It's just luck, basically, um, on how people get into push division. But then again, I believe if, uh, 
I, don't, I, I honestly don't know how he doesn't really know how he got into a push division so uh, the second thing is the second topic is treat others the way they want to be treated not treat others the way you want to be treated right so one of the biggest things that uh, when I first started boot camp right you're in a room with hundred different people and people from different uh, countries views religions backgrounds come in and you know they interact and there's always going to be problems one of the biggest problems that you're going to face that I face that uh, previous divisions face is just talking talking way too much right and there there are many different types of people right there's people straight out of high school people who are 30 years old uh, people in their mid-20s that are you know decide to make this their career uh, people that are in their 20s like me that are just giving this for maybe five years four years and then getting out for, for the college and um, you know there's it's, it's new thing it's stressful for everyone right and we everyone has different ways of relieving stress and some of the things that you know people do is, is talk they talk to their friends they talk to the people that next to them they laugh have fun joke around uh, just because you know they're, they're stressed they're not used to being in an environment where you have to you're graded on team effort if you don't get it right uh, you know you get physically punished for it uh, and that was really the, the thing, right? And the, the problem came when the people who were, who were like straight out of high school, 17, 18, 19 year olds, they generally talked a lot, right? Whereas people who are in their 20s, 22, you know, 25, they, they want to make this their career. And they're so, and when they come in, they're very military, military right? They're like, they, they pay attention, which is a good thing. They pay attention, they do the right thing. Uh, they don't talk. They, get, they do what they need to do, but then they get punished because of those people. And there was a lot of times when, in the, in the beginning, right, when we didn't have a system down, people just came in and started cursing out each other, telling each other to shut up, screaming at each other. And uh, you know, that, that's, just, that's just how it was. And you just kind of, kind of have to understand, you know, that there were some people from different countries that were in there that didn't really speak English they had their own clique they were had to you know that didn't really understand fully understand everything uh, where where when, when the division is doing something they were behind because of the language barrier um, it's just how the how the things were so you guys have to always look out for each other and uh, one of my biggest things that when I first came in was I just I prejudged everyone right I Oh, uh, that guy, he doesn't really understand English. I'm going to stay away from that guy. I'm going to stay with this group, right? And that was one of my biggest, um, I guess, weaknesses, right? And that's something that I learned to uh, change over time. And I'm a better person uh, with that thanks to the thanks to boot camp, right? So the last thing is how I lost 10 pounds, right? So I came in uh, in boot camp as 182. And at my last PFA, you do a weigh-in. And I was 173, so nine pounds rounded up to 10, right? And in, I, I, I honestly didn't eat the healthiest in boot camp. Uh, basically, they serve in breakfast like toast, cinnamon, uh, cinnamon toast, cinnamon toast, waffles, pancakes, all the good food that that you can eat. Uh, if you're a vegetarian or if you prefer to be on a diet plenty of options which I I wanted to do so bad but I wanted pancake so much more right so every single day I, every single day I ate like either pancakes or waffles mini waffles or uh, you know cinnamon toast with syrup butter and everything like that I ate that almost every single day and I ate so much I ate so much but in the end, I lost 10 pounds. And I'm not I'm the type of guy where if I eat, I'll, I'll gain that, right? Uh, you know, I don't I don't have the best metabolism. There's some people that you know do. There was there was a guy who 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 couldn't who really didn't do well in the PFAs. He couldn't really run. He couldn't really do the push-ups. He couldn't really do the sit-ups. But he ate you know like three cookies a day. But he was perfectly fine. Uh, he didn't really gain weight. He was the skinniest guy that I that I see. Um, so I mean, some people are just blessed with that, but people like me, 
uh, you know, I had to have the workout in. So how I lost 10 pounds while even eating that unhealthy was because when you're doing, you know, physical training, PTs, and when you're doing ITs, intensive trainings, which is basically when you're punished, or when other people people are punished, you just join in and give it 110%. You have to uh, always try to do physical exercises. And some people hate it. You know, for me, I loved it uh, because I was with a group that loved to uh, work out, PT, and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of motivated me to do it with them also. So that really helped me lose some weight. Uh, you know, my parents noticed that I lost some weight. I think I lost a lot of like cheek fat I had when I first came in. So those are my three tips for you right now. I will be posting more videos. If you have any questions or comments uh, regarding boot camp, leave it in the comment section below. I do check that almost every single day. Uh, I do give uh, a few minutes of my day towards answering your questions or anything that anything along those lines or making more videos, making more contents for you guys. So uh, that's it for you today. I think I make I'll be making one more video. So uh, thank you.